Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom. The podcast about anything and everything. Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Friday morning. Hope your week went well. And welcome to season nine. Woo! Awesome. Awesome. So today it's going to be a brief one because I got to get to a meeting soon for my job. <laughs> but um, very briefly, I wanted to talk about how Kratom helps me when I'm trading stocks. I don't have much money. And full disclaimer, I don't think anyone should be following my advice. And this isn't advice. So don't do anything. Like, I'm not telling you to trade stocks. I'm not telling you to take Kratom. No liability here. Don't even listen to me. Turn this off. <laughs> but... Okay, with all that in mind, I don't have much money like to, to put in the stock market, but I, I put a little bit in because I do want to know how to do it. I think it's important. Um, and I think people should know how, but not like Wolf of Wall Street stuff. I'm just like, you know, I'm just learning. So um, that's kind of my situation. And obviously I have a daughter, so I don't want to like gamble her future away or anything like that, nor will I. But I do think it's important to understand the stock market a little bit and to have a little bit of experience trying it out. And um, I think that the rule of thumb that I keep hearing from a lot of people out there, and not everyone will agree with this, but there's a rule of thumb that, you know, not mine, but someone else's, <laughs> that says, you know, if you buy a stock, sit on it for three years or five years. Like, like you don't touch it, you know, you don't sell it again. There's all these day traders and everything. Just if you're going to get something and you do your research, then you just need to sit on it. That's all well and good, but that's not that easy when there's like things happening in the economy, right? When the economy is swinging up and down and all around and going crazy, like it did this past week with the bank collapsing. Um, and even if you're not keyed into the news, don't worry. It, you know, <laughs> that's about the extent to which I understand it. Um, when, when that sort of thing happens, you need to be steadfast, or at least this is what I hear. And so that's difficult. It's difficult for me. And, and how, you know, it's tough to not react, I guess it would be the way to put it. This is where Kratom has helped me as I'm learning this sort of thing. It's helping me to be steadfast, to be a brick wall, to, to be confident in my decision and to stick with it, really. It's not, it's not that it helps me think through things or understand things or makes me smarter or dumber, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, I'll leave that up to my friends to decide. But what it does is it puts me to a sense of ease and calm and, I don't know, Kratom helps me feel like I am the captain of my own ship when I'm having trouble seeing myself that way or the, the person driving my car, you know? Like, it puts me in the driver's seat. And so when I do get a stock and then the world goes nuts like it has this past week kratom i find helps me when i'm like considering decisions or doing things or just thinking about decisions i've made instead of making me smarter or making me change my decision or dumber or whatever it just keeps me at ease it makes me think you know uh, it helps me to think wow you know i this is a crazy world. Things are going up and down. Let's stick with it. Remain steadfast. This is your ship. You did this for a reason last week. Don't necessarily change because everybody's reacting a certain way to something. Wait. Let's see. And and that's the sort of like calming at ease steadfastness that I really lack when it comes to this sort of thing. Full transparency. Like I do not have that when it comes to this. I'm completely reactionary. I'd be the one to lose the most money probably in any situation ever um, if I were to react to, the, you know, to, if I were to react the way that I immediately want to react to every situation. So I basically need to step back and Kratom does it for me. Like it just helps me do that. It doesn't make me feel weird or off or strange or, or like, you know, numb to the situation. It just puts me at ease and and my thoughts after taking Kratom and seeing so much happening in the economy is, let's see. The world is crazy. History is long. Things have happened. Things will happen. Let's see. And, and so far, you know, again, we're not talking about 
lots and lots of money here. <laughs> We're talking about very, very little money. But um, but so far it's worked out like, you know, a few dollars here and there. And that's really cool. It kind of is more of just like an experiment for me. And I'm lucky enough to even do that. Um, but but so far it's been working and, and it's really neat to see that pay off. And um, and I really do see Kratom as the main reason why it's working, because otherwise I would be reacting to all this stuff. I am not a strong willed like stock harsh wolf investor <laughs> at all and i never will be i don't think but kratom certainly helps me get through the sort of weeks or moments when it's like this and i'm um, certainly grateful for that i think i'm going to do a more detailed episode about all this and give you some examples next time but i don't really have the time today so i'm not going to get into it now however stay safe out there don't take any of this as financial advice or medical advice and um you know Stay cool. Be cool. You're amazing. Be steadfast. Be the captain of your ship. (laughs) And we'll be back on Monday. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks so much for listening. You guys are great. You helped me through a tough week this week, and it meant a lot. So thank you. All right, everyone. Take it easy. Talk to you on Monday. Bye-bye.